Hey y'all, wanted to share an awesome ClickUp automation that you can build um, inside of ClickUp pretty quickly um, for your team. So this is what we build, have built internally at Zenpout. We use it. Um, and it's kind of a way to connect your CRM, which I've talked a lot about building a CRM inside of ClickUp, as well as your EOS framework um, and running your level 10 uh, meetings inside of ClickUp as well. So I've talked a lot about those two and uh, had a lot of questions about the pros and the cons and sort of why I do this. Obviously, I recommend always having a single source of truth and that's would be ClickUp here. Um, what isn't in ClickUp doesn't exist. Uh, we want to make sure that it's all built in here. But building a CRM in EOS allows you to connect these two things together. Um, and it's super helpful for your delivery team to make sure that any issues, um, especially around client health, um, we solve them before they become client fires. So let's go over this automation and talk a little bit more about how you can actually set it up. So I have my CRM space here um, with the deals, companies, and contacts list. I'm just going to be highlighting the deals list. And if you want uh, this template, not necessarily the full CRM, we have a client health tracker, which is essentially just the deals list. You can get on our website. I'll attach the link to that in the description below so that you can build all this with the custom fields and everything um, pretty quickly without having to go build it from scratch. So we have that available on our website for free for now. So go ahead and snag that. Um, it'll help you kind of go through this process as I talk through it. But in your deals list here, you're going to have all of your deals. Um, I have Laverne's Pies, SEO and CRO Retainer, Poor Richard, CRO Retainer, Shroot Farms, so on and so forth. All these on my status are due dates, forums, services, health, objectives, and a lot of other custom fields in this as well. Um, but the big ones are going to be this comment section as well as the health score. So every single week, week my account managers are going to go through and they are going to fill out this comment section right here, kind of going over a weekly update. So that's going to be four questions here. Why would the customer be unhappy? Are you happy with this account? Have there been any changes in the strategy or timeline? And what do you need help with on this account? So all of this, they're going to fill this out every week. They can add, mention someone on here, like our head of client services, if they need help with something. Uh, but they just want to make sure that all the context gets out of their head into the system so that we know. And the head of client services will have a view right here. This is an activity view that basically takes all of the different weekly updates from all these deals and funnels them up into one spot for them to see all of that information. So it makes it super easy uh, to be very proactive. Again, get everything out of your account manager's heads into the system. But the big thing here is from there, I then go and I update the health score. So we've used a one to five scale or just a green, yellow, red scale. Whatever you want to do, just make sure it's documented and standardized for your team so they know what each score actually means. So I have green here, which is obviously good. Yellow, which there's some issues. And then red, uh, we have a big risk of churn there. So um, let's say this one's not going so great. As I mentioned, the website needs to be done by Friday. We're a bit behind. I need another designer uh, to get this done. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark this yellow. So what that does now is I have an automation here set up in my CRM deals list is if I go to automations, we'll go to list settings, automations there. Again, it's also, if I move my face, it's going to be up in the right-hand corner as well. But as you can see, this automation, what it does is anytime the custom field changes to the yellow, um, it is going to add this task, that deal task, to a different list. And that's going to be our issues list for my delivery team meeting. So... Again, that's not moving this task. It's just adding it to another list. You're going to have the tasks in multiple lists. Click app turned on inside of ClickUp. And that's going to go ahead and add it. Um, it's going to live here, but it's also going to be in the list down here. So now I'm going to move into my EOS framework down here. I have my level 10 meeting. This is going to be for my delivery team. Um, and inside of this issues list, you'll now see that the advanced refrigeration website project has been added to this list as an issue. So when we go through our IDS inside of our level 10 meeting as a delivery team, this is gonna be here. So I'm gonna have all of my other issues, but I'm also gonna have this be automatically added. So whenever an account manager moves from green to yellow, it's automatically gonna be added to this list so that we talk about it and that doesn't get forgotten about. So it's super helpful because now I have this task. You'll see the activity is all here. So as they leave these weekly updates, we'll have context into what's actually going on. And we're gonna open up this task and we're gonna talk about it and make sure we figure out how can we get this project back on track. How can we get advanced refrigeration to, to love us yet again? And so on and so forth. And after we solve that issue, we'll be able to come and as you'll see here, we have our lists where this is living. It's in the deals list as well as the team and issues list. I'm gonna go ahead and X that right there. And as you'll see, that moves it out of this list. And now it's just gonna live inside of the deals list. So if I go back to the deals list, you'll see it's still living here. If I go back here, it's gonna be gone from this and we've solved that issue and we're good to go. So it's super helpful, it tracks that and it puts it sort of in multiple lists there so you can connect your CRM directly to your EOS framework and your level 10 meetings to make sure that all client health scores that are issues um, get solved and we could 
be react or proactive instead of reactive and make sure we solve everything before they come client fires. So this has been super helpful for our team. Hire when you build this out. Again, I'm going to have this CRM uh, demo here, this deals list. Um, it's just basically a client health tracker. You'll be able to get that uh, template um, directly on our website. I'll put that in the description. Go ahead and start building this and using this framework because it's super helpful and it'll help your team be way more proactive.